everybody, welcome back to the latest installment in my series about the best white wines for beginners to try. This week we're looking at a very famous white wine, Pinot Grigio. And I know you think you know everything you need to know about Pinot Grigio, but trust me, there's more. Stick around and I'll show you. And if you hang till the end of the video, I may even just play you a song that I wrote about Pinot Grigio. Yep. When I'm in the wine store, I see more people buy Italian Pinot Grigio than any other type of wine. It's the go-to for so many people because it's affordable, it's approachable, it's easy to drink, and it pairs well with food. But what many of you don't know is that Pinot Grigio isn't originally from Italy. If you've been watching my series, you'll probably know what I'm about to say, so say it with me. It's from France. In France, it's known as Pinot Gris, and it's been growing in Burgundy for almost a thousand years. In fact, it's a mutation of the Pinot Noir grape. So Pinot Noir, Pinot Gris. The French call it Gris, which means gray, because this mutation has a lighter colored skin. It's not dark red, it's not light white, it's somewhere in between, so they call it gray. In Italian, they call it Grigio, and in German, they call it Grau. After centuries of growing Pinot Gris in places like France, Switzerland, and Germany, Winemakers slowly began to realize that the cooler northern parts of Italy were really well suited to growing this grape. And this is where Pinot Gris' alter ego, Pinot Grigio, is made. This is the one that we know and drink the most. On the whole, Pinot Gris and Pinot Grigio are known for being crisp, fruity, and food friendly. But there are some differences between the Italian style and the French style. Now, Italian Pinot Grigio is most often light, almost like water sometimes. Really acidic and clean, almost spritzy, with this distinct lemon and lime, and sometimes apple and pear flavor. French Pinot Gris tends to be a little bit more full-bodied and rich than Italian Pinot Grigio. It's fruity and floral, but it also has this spicy ginger note to it, and sometimes a honey element as well. Some of the best examples can be found in the Alsace region of France. Many other parts of the world are making Pinot Gris and Pinot Grigio now too, but here's the one thing that you have to take note of. Look at what they say on the bottle because they're trying to tell you what style they're making it in. If it says Pinot Gris, it's going to be more in the French style, more full-bodied and fragrant. And if it says Pinot Grigio on the label, that means they're trying to make it in a more lean, crisp and acidic Italian style. As far as food pairing is concerned, the style of the wine really sort of dictates the options. If you're looking at the more lean and crisp Italian Pinot Grigio style of wine, then that pairs really well with lighter fare. Things like salads, shellfish, and fish too. Um, if you're looking at the more full-bodied and heavy aromatic French style, I'd say that goes better with cream-based dishes. Look at pasta alfredo, a schnitzel, and even potatoes au gratin. As far as price is concerned, I don't think I've ever seen a really expensive Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio. The Italian ones uh, tend to hover around $10 a bottle, which is why I think so many people buy them. North America, Australia, places like that, you'll see them more around 15-ish. And then the most expensive ones, I think, are the Pinot Gris from Alsace, which are closer to $20 a bottle. Still, all in all, not too bad, though. All right, so you heard correctly. At the beginning of this video, I did promise you that I would sing you a song about Pinot Grigio. Just to reinforce the learning, I went to great lengths and wrote you a little ditty. It goes like this. <clears throat> Pinot Grigio, I think you should know. In France, it's Pinot Gris. Crisp and lemony, bold and gingery. The styles are all tasty. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks so much for hanging with me and watching, uh, learning a little bit about Pinot Gris and Pinot Grigio. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, and that way you'll get the full range of everything that I do, including uh, cocktails, spirits, and food pairings as well. Take care of yourselves and don't forget to take a little time out of every day to indulge. Cheers. <laughs>